and the cats and the cradle and the cereal spoon. Little boy. Bl what? It's called chilling. I do it sometimes, okay? I'm not on 24-7. You know, I went to the eye doctor because I guess you're supposed to go. It's It's been a few years. No, to see if I needed new glasses. They tell me it changed slightly. So the prescription was a little different. Tiny. Minute. I put these things on. I could barely see anything. I mean, it felt like my left and right eye weren't on the same page. I was straining to see everything. I gave it a good day, but then I put the old glasses back on. What's my point? My point is somebody made a mistake with something because I, I, I couldn't see. You know, it's like the dentist, right? When they tell you there's stuff wrong. I mean, it benefits them for there to be something wrong, but does it benefit me? Steve Weiner from GetRubix.com, and I got this question quite a bit, even requests for videos on it. So today we're gonna look at the difference between device and user assignment for apps and policies in Intune. Maybe I'll go to the dentist for an eye exam. Oh, it's all the same stuff. This intro is really long. Get Rubix, solving for the modern workplace. All right, so we're gonna log into Intune here. We're gonna go to Windows. We're gonna make a new configuration policy. We go to assign it and, hmm, do I choose users or devices? And more importantly, how do I know what the difference is? If Intune was a little bit older, I can say this is an age old question, but considering I've been doing this for the better part of 10 years, it certainly feels that way. There's really no set answer to say these types of policies or apps you assign to devices and these you do to users. However, there are considerations and certain things that just flat out break. So I guess there should be rules. Let's start with device based and talk about what that means. Device assignments target the actual hardware object. That means regardless of the user, um, the policy is going to apply if we're talking about policy and user assignment of course goes to the person the user object and that policy or application typically is going to attempt to follow them around to any device they go to right as long as it's for that operating system so a good example of this is if you uh, require users to have their OneDrive automatically sign in and start uh, redirecting their known folders that might be a good use case for a user policy because that's really not something specifically you would target to a device because wherever that user logs in, you're probably gonna want that to kick in versus a BitLocker, right? BitLocker settings should be at the device level. So let's start by looking at it in practice. To make life easier, I made two groups for us for this video, uh, YouTube users and YouTube devices. So YouTube devices has our test device in it. It's called YouTube demo. And that's this guy. If we go look at it, it's called YouTube demo. It's a windows machine. It's enrolled and I excluded it from all my normal group tag policies. So we wouldn't get any kind of uh, crazy stuff hitting it that would mess up our examples. Now the user Bob Freeman, who signed in is part of this group, YouTube users. Right. So this would be my user group. So this will give us a clear delineation for uh, separating the user and device assignment. Let's make sure Bob is in there and he is. So uh, with that, let's go ahead to Windows. Let's create a OneDrive configuration profile. We'll do Windows 10 later and we'll try to do this with settings catalog. Try to do everything with settings catalog now. So let's call this YouTube user OneDrive policy. We'll add the settings. There's quite a lot of policy here. Now, some things I will call out when you see user attached to them, set default location for the OneDrive folder user, that will only apply to the user, right? That isn't something we can apply to the device. Kind of like if you think about the group policy days, some were device centric and some were user. This is the same thing. So let's set a few that we want. Prompt users to move windows known folder, yes. Let's do the silently move known folders to OneDrive uh, and we'll set the default location of the user folder. Let's go ahead and assign that to the YouTube users group, YouTube users. And I'm also gonna create a policy to block the 
block the store. YouTube uh, block Windows store. Okay, so component store, we want turn off the store application user. Now notice there's two settings, user and just standard. We'll talk about that a little bit and we'll leave that enabled. Same thing, we're gonna add the YouTube group users. All right, we have both these policies and we're gonna wait for the device to sync and check it out. All right, so if we take a look at the device, um, my OneDrive policy looks like it's kicking in. Um, I was prompted. Yeah, so that did automatically sign me in. We can actually take a look. Count. Okay, so that signed me in as Bob. It's pretty good. Did the default location. Okay, and if we open the store, it's blocked. Okay, but it should only be blocked for this user. So let's try to sign out of Bob and sign in with a different user. Let's do Morty Smith at rubixdev.com. Okay, so now we're in his Morty and we're gonna look for a few things. So really what we wanna see is we shouldn't see OneDrive automatically be signing us in or prompting us in any way because that policy is only applying to Bob. So Morty isn't gonna get that. So he's free to sign in or not sign in, no problem. Uh, and now what about the store? The store should be blocked, right? Because we're only blocking it for uh, Bob. Perfect. All right, now let's try a device-wide setting so we can just see how that applies. Uh, Windows 10 and later, we'll do another settings catalog. I'm gonna do something hardware-based, like let's do uh, YouTube device, disable Bluetooth, something just real simple here. So we'll do the setting. I should be able to look for Bluetooth. All right, connectivity, allow Bluetooth. Uh, we're going to disable Bluetooth. All right, we're going to go ahead and set this policy to our YouTube device group. And let's take a look at that. If we want to look at that policy, that's going to be device wide. So if I search Bluetooth, Bluetooth and devices, we go add device, Bluetooth. Nope, no good. It's not it's disabled. And that's going to carry over uh, wherever we sign in. So. I'm going to switch user to Morty, and it should be no different here. When I go to settings, Bluetooth devices, add a device, Bluetooth. Yeah, it doesn't matter. It has nothing to do with the user. So either way, I'm good there. Now, one thing we want to be careful of is just because you assign a policy to a user group versus a device group doesn't mean it's going to apply. So let me explain. There are certain policies that only apply to devices. Now, Intune will let you assign them to users, but what does that mean? Well, it means it's going to apply to that user's device, right? So essentially, it'll be all their devices. But if we were to switch users on a device, it doesn't necessarily only follow them around. Let me show you. So when we look at the policy we set, we chose turn off the store application user. But let's go take a look at that. So if we go back up here and search for store, we want to be able to see um, the whole policy. So admin components, Windows store. So here we go. So we have turn off the store user. But notice there's also just turn off the store application, right? So all these policies, if we look at their correlating ADMX, you're going to see everything in here. So remove Windows Store 1 is the one we set, and it'll tell you the scope is the user, right? So it's only going to apply to the user. If I wanted to scope this to the device, I would have chose this guy, turn off the store application, and that would have applied remove Windows Store 2, which says scope device. So if you're ever unsure with a setting or it's not clear, what you would do is you would look it up. So if we do Bluetooth, for example, if we click learn more, that should take us to the policy page. And you can clearly see that it is a device scope, meaning even if you send it to a user group, it's not gonna apply to just that user. It'll apply to their device. It'll use the user group for their assignment. 
So what does this mean exactly? And don't worry, we're going to get to the applications in a follow up video because I just wanted to focus on the uh, policy for today. Let me know what you do for assignments. Uh, this is, like I said, very common, comes up a lot, and I always like to hear uh, different perspectives on it. So let me know, jump in the discord and we'll be seeing you.